What's up, everybody? I'm back for another coronavirus, how it's affecting different segments of the nursing population. This one here is kind of near and dear to my heart because one of my biggest things that I enjoy is student nurses because the, especially the clinicals that I had sucked. And I don't, I don't want the next generation of nurses to have to go through the same crap that I went through. Uh, when I worked at uh, Eskenazi, uh, I precepted uh, a lot of student nurses. It was nice. One of my old instructors was an instructor uh, that had clinicals there. And so she gave me quite a few students to have. And I reached out the other day uh, after Hoople's posted about the fact that uh, clinicals had been canceled at his hospital. I hadn't heard that yet. And so I reached out to one of my, uh, one of my old students and uh, was talking to her and was asking her about it. And she was like, yeah, you know, our, our clinicals got canceled. And so I asked her if I could send her the questions like I did with my other friend uh, yesterday. And she did. So here we go. Uh, I was asking her what term uh, she was in school, and this is what sucks. She's set to graduate in May. In May. A couple months from now. Uh, she was in, she had just completed her capstone, luckily. But she was getting ready to go into her perioperative clinical. Uh, she found out on March 12th that, uh, that they were canceling all clinicals. Uh, they found out by email, of course. You know, people don't call or nothing like that. Uh, they're suspended until at least April 6th, but most likely uh, they're saying for the rest of the semesters, uh, the rest of the semester, and that all classes for the rest of the semester are now online. There will be no face-to-face uh, -face classes whatsoever. Uh, how is the uh, school giving out information related to uh, making up those clinicals? They're not. They haven't yet. They have just extended their spring break by an extra, uh, I don't know how long they were originally having, but their spring break goes from the 15th through the 30th, uh, and they haven't heard anything about makeup clinicals yet. Uh, they have not, you know, I asked her about how will this affect her graduation date, and the email said, they will evaluate graduation as it gets closer. So it might, it might not. We don't know yet, which is horrible for all these students because I know like with her, she already has a job lined up for when she graduates. But will that job be, I mean, will she be able to go to that job now? Because will she technically graduate? She doesn't know. Uh, I asked her prior to this, did she have any experience with uh, patients uh, that were in isolation related to respiratory illnesses. And the only ones that she had was uh, influenza or RSV. Uh, and that was more related to when she was a tech as opposed to her clinical. I know with us, back when we were in it, if I remember correctly, it was summer fallish area. So the flu wasn't a big thing then. And any TB patients we had, students were not allowed to uh, go into those those rooms. Uh, I asked her, uh, how would she like the school and the government to assist her with the challenges that are going to be faced because of these clinical shutdowns? Because they're a big thing. You have to have the clinicals. That's part of the graduation requirement. And for her... She's not from Indy. Uh, she doesn't live here. So what is she doing now with the apartment? She's kind of stuck like Chuck. Uh, that she's now stuck with this lease that she's in, even though she doesn't really need it. She could go back home with her parents and do school there. Uh, also, they pay for clinicals. That's part of their uh, tuition. Now, and they've already paid for all this. Are they going to get refunded it? They don't know yet. Which is the biggest thing right now is that there's a lack of information getting put out to the students of how 
this is now going to affect them. Then I asked her, what else would you like people to know? And her big thing is that students are devastated and heartbroken right now because this is their career that they were looking at. This is their, their future. And they can't continue on this track right now because of all these shutdowns related to the COVID-19 pandemic. She said that she was lucky that she had gotten her capstone already completed, but more than half her class have not. And the capstone is the major requirement. That's what wraps everything up uh, in nursing school. That is the creme de la creme clinical that you have to have. And it's also one of the biggest things that help get that student in that door for their future job, for that first job that they are going to get. And all those students who aren't able to complete that, they won't have that experience. And now, are they going to have to do it in the summertime? Will the students who got the capstone done, will they just basically be allowed to graduate? without their final clinicals they don't know yet which again sucks the most is the lack of information and that's been the whole big thing with this pandemic is a lack of information out there for both the public and the people who have to work with it the nurses the doctors the aides the techs the therapists just don't know uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this little series. Uh, tomorrow, I'll have a video from a home health agency viewpoint. It's, it's going to be a really good one. It'll make you think a lot. I uh, really look forward to your guys' views uh, and comments on this. And I really appreciate uh, everything that you've done for me. Remember, wash your hands. And don't panic. Just prepare. Later.